Okay, there sits a white plastic bag. You think, why am I staring at a white plastic bag? That's a good question. Well, inside this white plastic bag is my mom's Beatles scrapbook from when she was a kid. So let's take a look. Um, the truth is, is I've already seen it, but the goal is to put it back together in a new book for future generations. Uh, right now it's a mess, but I will show you what it contains. Very interesting stuff for Beatles fans and music aficionados in general. All right, so here's the front of the book. You can tell it's in tatters. I'm shattered. So you open it up. We get the two ticket stubs from the concert she went to in 64 and 66. So cool. Thanks a million to all you Beatle people. You're the, you're the gear, okay. All right. A lot of this stuff came from magazines and newspapers. Beetle fever strikes. Beetle mania strikes anywhere. That's cool. Ringo when he was 10 years old. Paul when he was four. Ringo's mum and dad. Paul's dad and house. Home sweet home. The boys, or the lads, I should say, when they were when they were small. The days at the cabin club, the early days of playing. Oh, check this out! This is cool. Wait, oh, this is actually from the Seattle Post Intelligence, August twenty second, sixty four. This is after the show. Oh, this is so cool, man. This is the second coolest newspaper after my Kennedy assassination one. And of course, I always love seeing what the hottest sales were at the time. What kind of deals were we talking about? What kind of deals? I'm just so curious. Awesome, awesome. There we get more of the cavern. I know the true Beatles fans will appreciate all this stuff. And uh, the rest of you, you know, I'm gonna try to edit this the best I can until I know how I'm gonna edit it. This is what you're getting. Come on now, Paul, show your dimples. It's my mom for you. Gotta put those red stars on there. They gotta mean something, huh? Now, I don't know if this is worth anything. You know, the condition of... It's all cut out, you know, and the condition is... You know... Fair to not so good, but... More sentimental than anything else. God, there's so many stars by Rico. Why is that? Mom, why? 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 Oh my God, I love him. I'm gonna marry him. He's mine, he's mine. Uh. Look at that straight out of a horror movie. Nice little triptych, three picture shot there, I love it. Love it. That's hilarious. Here's a poster of the four. And, um, you know, it's pretty good shape considering it's as old as it is. I don't know what's going on with Ringo's lips. They might have gotten kissed one too many times. That's pretty sweet. Thanks for watching. Peace. Or as Ringo would say, peace and loof. So some stuff, it wasn't just Beatles. I mean, for instance, uh, here's, here's May 13th, 1966. Who is this? I don't even know who this is. Oh, this is Chicago school students take to new mod gear. Snappy, snappy dressers. Herman's Hermit, Hermits. Herman's Hermits. Something tells me I'm into something good. There he is. That song, by the way. I know it from the Naked Gun soundtrack, something I grew up with, but 
It's much older than that. I thought that was Mick Jagger. I think that's Peter Noon, though. Anyway, we're trying to get to the Beatles here. More Hermits Hermits. Ah, uh, here we go. Cover of Life, August 28th, 1964. Pretty cool stuff. And we're back to Hermits Hermits again. Herman, leave me alone. Take the Hermits with you. A lot of, you know what? No offense to Herman, but... More Herman's Hermits, more Herman's Hermits. What is this video about? I want to get to the Beatles. Beatles. All right, opening the book. Twenty things. 